Are you okay, my girl? Are you okay? Take a good girl. Some tenderness after a tough time. Lions evacuated from war-torn Sudan, now in a South African sanctuary. Toys, medicine, and regular feeding are all new luxuries for young lions that have been through hell and back. At the moment, also knowing that they had to go through a lot of um, trauma and physical, um, you know, hardship. So we are assessing them medically at the moment and keep them under quarantine until we are 100% sure, then they will go out in the bigger enclosures. So they were starved in Sudan for so long that mealtime is a very anxious, charged moment for them. You can see them pacing, just ready for the next piece of meat. This is where they've come from, trapped in a Khartoum rescue shelter, besieged by fighting. A very bad situation, very critical. I mean, we see just, we just informed in the car one line, bus away yesterday, another one line. All what we see now, uh, animals are really in very, very, very bad condition. Really a very critical situation. Dr. Amir Khalil, a veterinarian at Four Paws, carried out their biggest and most dangerous rescue mission to date, at the mercy of two warring factions. The team tranquilized the lions, then transferred them to crates. A delicate process for these wounded and weak animals. They left Sudan's capital by road and moved to the nearest safe city. But months later, fighting broke out there too. The lions are finally out of the country, but some have endured too much. Uh, Karim don't look well. Uh. Karim never makes it. So many months as this animal were suffering, fighting to survive. I think Karim was a brave lion who fight in the last two months, especially when we took him from Khartoum to Madani, to the International Park, all the trip back till Port Sudan, till this place where we are now. It was a huge trip. And now for their final home, from Sudan to Jordan to South Africa. Overall, of course, we never had actually a big group like that as well, coming from such violent conditions and being so res resilient. That is also what sets them possibly apart, that they are extremely resilient, uh, thinking what they went through, even as cubs already, you know, and they survived it. They are survivors, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> survivors and symbols of suffering out of a country where all life has become too cheap. Yusril Bagir, Sky News, Lions Rock Sanctuary, South Africa.